Hi guys, so I got my second King Room printer here, the 180 by 180 by 180. I thought I'd make a little challenge for myself and see if I can get this printer unboxed, put together and printing in under 15 minutes. Okay, instruction manual. I won't need that. Looks like it's torn anyways. All the way through, that's not a good start. Like my other one, there are loose bolts in the box, which is two for two for me, and I've heard others say that as well. You got these four, like I call them blind nuts. They have to go up inside the rail. That's probably one of the hardest things to do, is to get those lined up properly. Boy, uh-oh, that's nice. So I'm gonna snug them up. Not too tight though, because you need to be able to get those four longer ones that are neat, and they will not go in if these are too tight. So, it's going to tighten them up a little bit. So, I'm going to flip this over. And there's actually uh, only two bolts that go in there. They give you one extra here. Okay, started. It's going in. I didn't pay too much attention to trying to make sure this was all square or just kind of everything lined up for me in my first one. We'll see if that's the case on this one. I don't know if it will be. And then you do have to attach the Z-axis motor connector right here. That's it. So it's together. I am going to pull the bed all the way down by turning these knobs. A little sticky, pull that off, switches, working, slowly bring these all the way down, okay, everything's tight, I'm going to take the power supply, feels tight, that's good, power this on, it's coming on, I'm gonna tear a piece of this. It might be a little thick, I don't know, but I'll use it for the bed level. I'm going to go to, let's see, sorry, now that I have it built, I'm gonna bring this camera down a little closer. So I'm gonna go to leveling. And what I'll do is Take this piece of paper and I'll put it underneath there till it's just there's some slight resistance on it. I forgot what I had done before is I had actually lowered this spring loaded bolt here to allow it to come down a little further. Okay. Go back, go back to leveling. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the extruder. Go to 235. Oh, that's the bed, sorry. Uh, they probably supplied PLA, so I'm gonna to go to 75. I run my heated bed a little hotter. 
I'm gonna do like 215 on the extruder. Go back. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. There it goes. I'm just gonna push it in by hand. You should see some come out of the extruder. Good. Try to unwind some of this material. I'm gonna put my SD card in here from the other printer. Confirm. Back. Back. I'm gonna go to print. I'm just gonna print this out. It's like a battery cover. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how the first layer looks here in a minute. And I'll have to keep an eye on this material. So let's see where we're at here. So the heated bed is at 235, which is way too hot for PLA. Or not the heated bed, the extruder's 235, the heated bed's 75. I might go in there and lower that temperature a little bit. Maybe 220. The reason why I want the 235 is the the G code that I had on the micro SD card was for uh, TPU, which I run a little hotter. But actually, 235. I mean, there's some PLAs I run 235, but that first layer looks pretty good. This layer of that one looks pretty good. Again, guys, between 15 and 20 minutes of actual build and setup, and I, it's printing. So I'll come back and show the finished product, and then uh, that'll be it. Thanks. Okay, we're back. Um, here's the first finished print. Actually, it looks pretty darn good. Um, like I, get, like I said, uh, the settings on the G code that were on the micro SD card were for a different type of material, but I was able to turn the temperature down partially, partially through it. And I'm sure that this material is probably not the best stuff in the world, but at any rate, it actually looks pretty good. There's a little bit of stringing, but that's something I've figured out with the, uh, I did end up trying the newer version of Cure, the 4.5, and I'm able to print TPU with like zero stringing. I probably should show those parts real quick too. So this is the same part printed in TPU. And these are literally coming off the bed like this. And I'm printing uh, four at a time. So there's no stringing between the four pieces and actually before I switched to the four cure four five and tweak some of the settings I was having a lot of stringing inside here and every single one of these that I've printed have been like what I would consider to be perfect especially for TPU so I'm super impressed with this uh, again with these King Rune I mean this is the only printer I've been running for a week and a half now even my home built printer that I love I have not been using it at all I just like the ease of use of these printers. I thought I'd throw a little bonus footage of both the printers working at the same time. So here they both are. The one on the left is the one I unboxed today and set up in about 20 minutes. It's printing TPU and doing a fine job. The one on the right is printing uh, PLA. It's called Sparky PLA. That's an eBay order. It's like a battery holder. Um, I do have my camera set up, so my camera is stationed in between the two printers. And I can just show you a quick view of the, uh, so that's the live view I get. And of course that's, I can move the camera too, if I want to get a better view. But I also thought I'd show you, this is just a real quick setup, but the way I have the filament running. Um, I just got a bracket from like Home Depot. So I can fit two spools of material on there. The, one un the one's underslung going to the first printer, and then the one back here I got going through a piece that, just an extra piece of uh, some something I made at some point that I didn't use, but it's working pretty good. 
takes up a lot less space. All right, thanks guys.